gerunds and infinitives, part two. Some verbs can be followed by a gerund or an infinitive. Sometimes it changes the meaning. Sometimes it does not change the meaning. Examples of meaning change. I stopped calling her. This means I no longer call her. I stopped to call her. This means I paused what I was doing in order to call her. So maybe you're walking down the street, eating a sandwich. You put the sandwich down, you stop walking, and you call her. I stopped to call her. I forgot telling you that. I told you something, but I don't remember doing it. I forgot to tell you that. I should have told you, but I didn't remember to. I didn't tell you. I remember writing the email to my boss. It means I recall the act of writing that email. The email was completed. Remember to write the email to your boss. Don't forget to do it because you haven't done it yet. I regret informing you that I quit. I wish I didn't tell you I quit. It was a mistake or regret. I regret to inform you that I quit. I'm telling you now that I quit, but I am sorry about it. Examples of no change in meaning. I don't like running. I don't like to run. I do not like the act or activity of running. So both of these mean the same thing. We continued watching the concert. We continued to watch the concert. Again, this is the same thing. It means we didn't look away from the concert. We didn't stop watching. It started snowing. It started to, <clears throat> it started to snow. The snow began to fall. I love traveling. I love to travel. Travel makes me happy and is my hobby. Example sentences. Stop trying to impress me. I stopped to try the free samples. He forgot going to the store as a kid. He forgot to go to the store. I like sleeping. I like to sleep. We started to read the daily news. We started reading the daily news. If you continue practicing, you will be really good. If you continue to practice, you will be really good.